What's going on guys? HK Titan here with another balloons video and first things first as always I hope you guys are having an amazing day Today's video we're going to be jumping back into our balloon star defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide And for today's guide we're going to be going through and redoing tree stump on impoppable mode So for this mode we will have our monkey knowledge turned off We will be using our hero Oban and we will be using the tried and true druid strat. So what the druid strat is, is we start off with ninja alchemist. And then we go ahead and we get a bunch of druids. And for our second final tower, we're going to go ahead and go with a avatar super monkey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right. And there we go. Cool. So first things, for, or first, things first, we always have to make sure that we start off with our ninja so what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we also have enough room to place down all of our druids where we want to place them down so we're going to be starting off with our ninja right here there we go perfect so let's go ahead and press play we can go ahead and speed through things here right quick and in a hurry all right, perfect. Next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for a dart monkey because we want to make sure that we have enough popping power. And unfortunately, because we chose to place our, our ninja monkey right here, we're just not going to be able to do as much popping as we would like to. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down our dart monkey right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to finish off any balloons that our ninja can't polish off while we're waiting to get enough money to go ahead and buy ninja discipline and seeking shurikens. All right, there we go. Perfect. Next thing that we're going to be going for is, of course, like I was saying, we're going to be going for ninja discipline because it's going to increase our ninja monkey ninja monkey's attack radius as well as it's going to increase his attack speed as well all right there we go there's our ninja discipline so now our ninja's gonna be doing a little bit more work i mean he's still gonna struggle just a touch but that's all right because our dart monkey is gonna be able to finish off whatever our ninja monkey can't finish off we're gonna have four balloons slip through here but our dart monkey is gonna be able to easily pick those up no worries my dudes all right, so next thing we're going to go for is we're going to go for Seeking Shurikens because we are dealing with a little bit of a curve here. We want to give our Ninja Monkey the most popping power that we can possibly give him. Thus, we're going to go ahead and go with the Seeking Shurikens because it's going to help us out a ton. All right, the next thing that we're going to be working towards is we're going to be working towards getting this Sharp Shurikens here because once we get those Sharp Shurikens, we're going to be good to go to go ahead and grab our Oban. And once we get our Oban going, then we're going to be set and... The only thing that we're going to have to work towards is grabbing ourselves our, uh, we're going to have to grab ourselves our alchemist. All right. And perfect. Now we just need to save up the whopping $780 to buy our Oban, but we should be able to afford it right quick and in a hurry. All right. So we're at $500 right now. And as you can see, we really haven't been struggling too much. If we didn't have this dart monkey in the very back, unfortunately, we definitely would have lost because of the positioning of our ninja. But because we want to place all of our druids right here in this corner, we went ahead and we sacrificed a little bit of popping power to go ahead and make sure that our that we, that we were able to uh, place down our druids where we wanted them. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down our Oban right here as far right as we can get him, just like so. Now the reason why we're going to place down our Oban right here is because we're going to be placing all six of our druids up here. And then once we pair our Oban and all that with a fancy dancy monkey village, we are going to be golden. We're not going to need to worry too much about the placement of our druids because we're going to be able to fit all six within the radius of our Oban. And all six of them are going to be within the radius of each other. All right, next thing that we need, we need to go, go ahead and grab ourselves our double shot and we need to grab that as soon as possible. Now, one thing we're going to switch up here because we do need a little bit of added popping power because of the positioning of our ninja monkey. We're going to be going for a singular druid to kind of assist our Oban and our ninja monkey. And we're going to go ahead and place him at the very top here. Following that, that's when we're going to start going for some monkey villages and stuff like that. But it's not going to be too complicated. All right, so as soon as we can, we're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves our Balloon Jitsu. Following our Balloon Jitsu, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves our Alchemist as well. 
And then, like I was saying at the start of the video, instead of going with the usual perma spikes, we're actually going to be going for the Sun Avatar this time. Because I know a lot of you guys like to use the Super Monkey, and I really don't use them too much, too much in a lot of my videos. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Avatar today instead of you, er, instead of using the permanent spikes like we usually do. All right, and we should be able to buy our Balloon Jitsu here in just one second. And there's our Balloon Jitsu, awesome, fantastic, and amazing. All right, next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to go ahead and go for our Alchemist right now because, of course, we want to go ahead and buff our Ninja. That way we can go ahead and do a little bit more damage to the Moab that's coming on round 40. So when we place down our Alchemist, we're going to go ahead and try and place him to where he's only buffing our Ninja like usual. And we're going to go ahead and place him right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and give him Acidic Mixture Dip. And as you can see, our Alchemist is only buffing our Ninja. It's not going to waste its... Uh, potions on our Oban Greenfoot because of course Oban really doesn't need too much of a buff in these early rounds because of course our main tower from round 1 to round 40 is of course going to be our ninja. Alright next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to go ahead and go for our Berserker Brew as soon as we can go ahead and afford that and then we're going to be able to afford Stronger Stimulant roughly probably around the beginning of round 38 the end of round 38 somewhere in there. Alright, we are officially at almost $1,500. We are halfway there to being able to afford Stronger Stimulant. So, from the looks of things, it looks like we're going to be able to afford it at the beginning of round 38. Uh, looks like uh, my rounds were just a tad bit off there, but no worries. We're going to be able to afford Stronger Stimulant, and of course, we're going to be able to grab an additional Druid here. Just to assist our couple of towers here, because like I was saying, we do want a little bit of added popping power. Especially in the start of the game here. All right, so let's go ahead and throw down our first druid. And of course, we want to make sure that we get that little bit of an open buff on our druid. So we're going to, we're just going to go ahead and place him in the top right here. We're going to give him Thorn Swarm, Druid Reach, and then we're going to go ahead and go for the Heart of Vengeance as, as well after we speed things up just a touch. Now, normally what I do is I go ahead and I add a Monkey Village to go ahead and reduce the cost of things, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, we're able to deal with all of these different balloons with no issues. So here's our Druid of Wrath, and then we're going to go ahead and grab Heart of Oak as well. And then we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. We're going to be able to finish off this Moab balloon with no issues. Now, because we are on Impoppable mode and all of these towers are super expensive, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Banana Farm. And then much similar to what we what we usually do, we're not gonna, we're not going to waste any money with increased, you know, increased production. We're just going to go straight for the Monkey Bank. And then we're going to be able to start generating, generating a little bit of extra income here. And that's going to allow us to grab the towers that we want to buy. Because of course in this mode the Avatar of Wrath is super expensive. And on top of that we're also going to be going for the Sun Avatar. And the Sun A Avatar isn't the cheapest tower either. Alright so there we go. We have our Monkey Bank now. Next thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to, we're going to be going for a second Banana Farm. And ideally we can get a third banana farm, but if you'll notice we are starting to get a little bit towards the higher rounds and we want to start getting some more towers down to help out our Oban and our Balloon Jitsu Ninja. Alright, so let's go and in the meantime we're going to go ahead and keep collect collecting these loose, loose bananas because each one of those loose bananas is extra income. That of course is going to help us get these uh, monkey banks going. Uh, like I said, I am going to be going for three uh, monkey banks, uh, but also I want to be paying attention to our rounds because our Balloon Jitsu Ninja Al Alchemist combo can usually take us to round uh, 59, 60, but we don't want to push our luck too much because, of course, we do not have the best positioning on our Ninja in the very back. So we don't want to push our luck too much. So around round 57. Round 57 is when we're going to want to start placing down some more towers. Now, I do have this druid up here at the very top that's going to be helping out our uh, Balloon Jutsu Ninja, but it is only a tier 3. It's not a tier 4 or anything crazy like, like that. So we do want to keep in mind that our defenses are super weak right now. But there we go. We have our third monkey bank down, so we can start focusing on grabbing ourselves a couple more towers. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves another druid. Let's but before we place down our druids, we do want to slow things down just a touch here. 
Because uh, much like Monkey Meadow, we want to go ahead and get some decent placement on our Druids. Because, of course, if we place our Druids too far out and we're kind of like... Uh, and when we place our Druids down super quick, we're not going to be able to get the ideal placement. And we may be limited to the amount of Druids that we're able to place in such a close proximity. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw this Druid as far right as he'll go. And as far up and perfect. And then let's go ahead and see if we can fit ourselves another druid in here. Unfortunately, this is exactly what I was talking about. So many druids in such close proximity, it's hard to get really, really good placement. So there is our fifth druid. And then we should be able to finish off our last druid in the very back here. Just like so. Perfect. Now the next thing that we're going for is we're going to go ahead and do a similar chimp strategy. We're going to grab ourselves a monkey village. We're going to place our monkey village right here. And on top of that, we're also going to be grabbing ourselves another monkey village here in just one second. And don't worry, guys. As soon as we place down this monkey village, we're going to go ahead and check out our banks just to make sure that our banks are doing perfectly fine and generating us some extra income. All right, we're at 3,627. That will cap out at 7,000. So as soon as that hits 7,000, then we're going to go ahead and want to collect that. We should have roughly three or four rounds before that caps out. So in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and work on upgrading our monkey villages here. Now, if you guys will notice what I'm doing, I am give or I am doing the monkey commerce and monkey business. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us a much cheaper upgrade prices, which is exactly what we want. All right, so we can go ahead and speed things back up here right quick. And let's go ahead and start working on getting a couple more Druid of Wrath. Because that's going to increase the popping power of our current towers and it's going to help us out a lot. Especially since we're getting really, really close to round 63. Alright, so we can speed things back up here. Perfect. Uh, our, Drew, or our ninja is still able to deal with all of these camo balloons. Like I said, he's really good up until round uh, 59, 60. Uh, 60 is when he may have a little bit of struggles, especially on maps like these, unless you have the ideal positioning. Unfortunately for us, our positioning isn't perfect. So, that being said, uh, you wanna you wanna you want you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to the rounds, especially since we're on round 58 now. We should be getting close to having a lot of money in our bank. Unfortunately, we're still a little bit shy. If we do hit round. 62 and our banks aren't capped then we're going to go ahead and uh we're, we're going to go ahead and collect all no, no matter how much we have that way we can go ahead and upgrade all of our druids all right perfect now we're going to go ahead and start upgrading a couple more of our druids we're going to go ahead and get ourselves another pop list on the field and we can go ahead and speed things up just a touch here uh, make sure that our ninja is able to pop these last few camo balloons. That was really, really close there. Uh, if our owl alchemist didn't buff our ninja there, then unfortunately we would have lost. So that being said, I don't want to push my luck too much. So we're going to go ahead and grab faster throwing really quick. Just to make sure that our ninja is always buffed by this alchemist. Because if it's not buffed and what happens happens, then unfortunately that could, that could cost us the game because we do not have any camo detection on these druids up here at the very top. All right, there we go. We have our 20,000, so we're going to go ahead and collect all of that. And then we're going to go ahead and turn all of our druids into Poplus with Heart of Oak, just like so. But before we finish it off, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves radar scanners. That way, all of these druids can go ahead and see camo balloons as well. All right, there we go. There's our Poplus. There's our Heart of Oak. Next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab bigger radius with jungle drums. That way we can go ahead and get a little bit of added bonus with our druids up here. And if you guys will no notice, all of our druids have the five times druids buffs because we do have the six druids up here. And Oban should be at level 11 next round, which in turn is going to increase our popping power for round 63. All right, so we can go ahead and speed things back up here. Now that we have all of this popping power on the field, we are setting very, very good. Uh, next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and pay attention to how much money we have in our banks. Because, again, we definitely need to start getting some more towers online to help out our, our ninja and our oven with dealing with these lead balloons. Alright, that being said, we're going to go ahead and pop up here, grab ourselves an alchemist, and just to help out our... 
Oven and our ninja. We're gonna go ahead and throw an alchemist up here that has a sick mixture dip. So now all of these druids are going to be, or not all of them, but three, three of them at any given point in time are gonna be able to uh, pop lead balloons. All right, and perfect. We have three thousand seven hundred dollars between all of our banks, which isn't ideal. We do want to start getting a little bit more money generating here. But now that we have this alchemist up here, a lot of our druids can pop lead balloons. And of course, we do have the radar scanners, so all of our druids can see camo balloons as well. So our popping power is extremely good. Now, that being said, if you guys uh, do struggle with any rounds, you guys can play it a little bit differently than me. You can actually buy radar scanner before you start upgrading all of your druids. The only reason I started to upgrade our druids a little, uh, differently is because... Uh, I wanted to get a little bit of extra popping power going, but as you guys can see, we're perfectly fine. The only point at which we really struggled was the camo lead balloons because unfortunately uh, we did not have camo detection yet. So to kind of prevent that, just go ahead and get camo detection before you get anything else. And then go ahead and grab yourself another Al Alchemist up here to go ahead and buff some of your druids. All right, we're sitting at 11,000 now. We have 4,000 in our banks, uh, actually 12,300 in our banks. So we're sitting pretty decent on money, uh, around 70. If everything goes according to plan, we should be able to afford our Avatar of Wrath uh, somewhere in the mid 80 rounds. All right, we're almost at $20,000 and we almost have $20,000 in our bank. As soon as we get to $20,000 in our bank, we're going to go ahead and collect all. And there we go. Perfect. So now we have $39,000. Unfortunately, the Avatar of Wrath is super expensive. That being said, uh, we still have $14,000 to generate. If you want, wanted to, you could sell all of your banana farms. But I, as you can see, we really aren't struggling in popping any of these balloons. So we're just going to go ahead and wait it out because having these... Uh, monkey banks are going to make affording our sun avatar a lot easier especially since we're not going to be going with the permanent spike we're going to be going with the sun avatar we definitely want to make sure that we have enough money to be able to afford that all right and at the meter er, just a little bit of a tip just periodically check to see how much money you have in your banks because if you'll notice i also struggle struggle with keeping track at how at how much money I have in my banks and sometimes you can waste a little bit of money by not keeping track of how much money you actually have uh, saved up in your actual banks right, we're sitting at 47,000 we only have another uh, let's see uh, 6,000 to go and then we're gonna be able to afford our avatar of wrath and then it's going to be smooth sailing for the rest of the game Following the Avatar of Wrath, we're going to be buying Monkey Intelligence Bureau because, as you guys know, the Avatar of Wrath cannot passively pop lead balloons. And since it can't pop lead balloons, that means it can't pop DDTs. So we're going to get that MIB to go ahead and help out our Avatar of Wrath. All right, we're sitting with 5,176 in our bank, just making sure that we're keeping track to make sure that we don't waste any money, unless we have to, of course. Round 78, everything's going according to plan. Uh, I'm guessing round 81, we might be able to afford our Avatar of Wrath. I mean, we could afford it right now if we collect all, but of course, that'll just be a little bit of a waste of money, and we really don't want to waste more money than we have to. All right, there we go. That's $54,000, and we should be able to afford our Avatar of Wrath. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making this druid right here that's closest to our Oban, the Avatar of Wrath. The reason why I'm making this druid the Avatar of Wrath, because it's going to help us out a lot when it comes to like cross pathing where you have Moab balloons pop down here and circle around here. He's going to be able to hit multiple Moabs at the same time and he's going to be able to hit them for a lot longer as well. All right, and perfect. Like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and buy our Monkey Intelligence Bureau. And from this point on, it's pretty much just saving up money to buy our Super Monkey as well as the Sun Avatar. And we have $4,000 in our bank. We should be getting relatively close to being able to uh, collect all from our banks again. And this time, because uh, the, we're only going for a Tier 3 Sun Avatar, we can go ahead and just completely ignore... Uh, 
selling the banks, we should be able to just generate enough money between the banks and our passive income to be able to afford everything without selling our banks. All right, so what we want to do is we actually want to place... If we had a little bit better placement on our alchemist, we'd, we'd be able to get a buff for our super monkey. But it's not that big a deal. We're going to be able to afford to buff it with an alchemist by itself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw down our super monkey right here. And we're going to be going straight for the sun avatar. And uh, next turn, we should be able to collect all on our banks. And that should be enough money to be able to afford... Oh, we didn't, we didn't collect all. We missed a little bit. But there we go, there's our Sun Avatar. Let's go ahead and buy a knockback. Now, we shouldn't need to, yes, we, we do need to buy all Ultra Vision because unfortunately our Monkey Village is a little bit out, out of range of our Sun av Avatar. But it's not that big a deal because of course, uh, the Sun a Avatar is just here for support. All right, so let's go ahead and buff our Super Monkey now. So we're gonna go ahead and throw, down, throw ourselves down a little Alchemist here. Upgrade it to a stronger stimulant and then grab acid pool with faster throwing. And there we go, boys. This is the final comp for the comp that I'm going to be doing for Impopable. This is actually going to be the similar comp to what I'm going to be doing on Chimps for this map as well. Uh, because I did want to switch things up just a little, uh, just a little, uh, the just a little bit and not going for the usual druids with the permanent spikes. So uh, for tomorrow's video, I will be uploading the chimps version of this, uh, but because it is chimps, it's going to go a little bit differently. You're, we're, we're not going to have the same steps in the setup. We're actually going to have to do a couple of things differently because, of course, we can't generate extra money with our monkey banks. And, of course, uh, we're going to be able to afford or the prices of the actual towers aren't as expensive as they are in here. But so if if you guys want help with tree stump on chimps, feel free to stop back through. I'll go ahead and give you guys an in-depth walkthrough on how to beat chimps and a strategy that I'm going to be using for it. Uh, one thing that I do want to do for some of the future guides and stuff like that is I want to start mixing up the towers that I use. To show you guys, there's multiple different strategies that you can actually use. Uh, the only issue with, with some of the strategies I have in mind, some of them do involve using abilities so if you guys would like to see some different strats and you guys don't mind seeing some uh, ability use feel free to let me know in the comments below because i do have a lot of different st strategies that we can use but like i was saying a few of them do do involve using a little bit of ability use all right boys it is round 96 as you can see we have forty thousand dollars in reserve and we actually have a lot of money chilling in our bank. Next turn, we should be able to collect all. There we go. Let's go ahead and see how much money we're actually going to end with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell all of our banks here. Just like so. Round 98, boys. We have $81,000 left over. And if you guys are kind of curious of what you can afford with $81,000, you could pretty much afford any one of these towers. So if you wanted to go ahead and level up an extra tower, or if you want to go and use a tower that you really don't use too much of, feel free to buy whatever tower you want. But this strategy right here is going to be more than enough to deal with every single round that you're going to come across. Right guys, while our Avatar of Wrath finishes off this bad balloon, I just want to take this time to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The support on the channel has been absolutely amazing. But anyways guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives, and I will see you guys in the next one.